Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It's battery changing time for our early 2015 MacBook Air. Battery came in today. This is the one we got. I can't even pronounce the name, but hey, it's in the title somewhere. All right. So with this, we're going to get tools. We're gonna get the screwdrivers we need. Brand new feet if you need them. The keyboard skin if you wanna use that. And we got our battery here. Voila, there is the new battery. And this one here is uh, 7,200 milliamp, I believe. Let me, uh, they do make two batteries for this. You got 7,200, which is what I ordered. And then they got um, 8,000 milliamp, which is 6,899 for that one. This was 5,698. Um, I ended up getting a little bit of a discount. It cost me just under $60 delivered. So, we'll put aside the stuff we don't need. Those feet will come in handy. Those feet, by the way, work on almost every single MacBook, uh, whether it's an Air or a Pro, so kind of handy. Anyways, so there's our two screwdrivers. And we need to flip her upside down. And our blue one is the right one. This is gonna be for the battery. Okay. Now you gotta have the right tools for the job and at least this company, they supply you the tools, which is absolutely fantastic. Now this battery does not need any kind of tape. It's just screwed in place. Apple actually should have kept with that sort of system in all their laptops. It would have made life so much simpler and less frustrating because when they switched over to that bonding tape, well, a lot of times it breaks and then you got to take your chances at, you know, damaging the cells on the way out. And if you damage a lithium polymer cell, um, or even the lithium ion ones, in fact, uh, they will catch fire and I know for a fact with lithium polymer that is not a fire you can easily put out uh, so you don't want to puncture them that's for darn sure but uh, anyways we we know this from the world of RC world for hobby grade RC so now all the screws in the laptop are going to be exactly the same except for these three will be the only different ones so you just gotta remember where you took the three long ones out from and it's pretty simple they all just go on this side right here oh no we only got two two long ones i thought there was three my bad so short short too long and everything else is all short. And just pop up the cover. And away we go. Now, I want to move the cover here. And I'm going to move the battery over here for a minute. Now, these screws go in an order from what I saw in a video myself. So, this is the first time I've ever done one of these things myself too. So, bear with me. But... We gotta remember that's the wrong screwdriver. So we need our other one. You'll learn real quick. There's a reason why they give you two. Now I'm gonna put these into the order in which I take them out. So I know exactly where they go back in. because there are different lengths there. And we're gonna do the same thing for here. We have a long one. This will be another short one. Make sure you do power off the computer first, by the way. Kind of a necessary thing to do. And of course, our middle one is right here. And we're going to put that right there. 
So the next thing we gotta do is undo the power connector. Now this here, we just gotta pull the tab out from what I saw in the video. It just pulls out, but we'll verify the new battery. No, this is, uh, that's a pop-on style. And they didn't actually give us a tool for that, but we should be able to just pull it up and it should come up and it does not. Well, this shows that it's plugging in. So it's got to go in so we can't pull up. Ah, pull straight back. There we go. Be careful. All right, then we just lift this out. Just like that, done. All okay, right, now, the cells on this are all perfect. Believe it or not, this only has about 142 cycles, I think it was on this one. And it's already capuchied. And uh, uh, we'll check the, well, yeah, designed by Apple California. That's a factory battery. Okay, so now for the new one. If you got any dust bunnies, now's the time to blow them up. This thing's pretty clean though. And we're just gonna rest that right in there. Everything should just line right up. Okay, now I'm gonna put the screws in first. Now, how much of a charge there is in this battery, I have no idea. There should be at least what's called a storage charge because it is a lithium polymer. And you're not supposed to flatline these things or you will kill them. So never let your laptop, even your new model Macs, ever flatline or any device actually that has lithium polymer batteries. Because if they do flatline, like I said, you will kill them. They, they can actually, even from one time only, um, it has been known that lithium polymers will never recharge again. Um, it is near impossible to actually get them to take a charge again after that. But sometimes you get lucky. Um, usually the safety kicks in. If there's a safety on the battery, um, it usually will kick in. Just kind of wondering why that's, that's got a bit of flex to it. You know what? Let's take this back out for a second. That kind of, it kind of makes me wonder a little bit, like, is it a fitting thing or it just, I can't see it being uh, an issue, but better to be safe than sorry. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything special to worry about here. that's yeah, just has a little bit of flex looks like that's gonna be fine okay let's put her back together so for for under 60 bucks Canadian to the door uh, that's no shipping too that's that's from Amazon uh, so no didn't have to pay for shipping it wasn't on prime it's just because it was over that $35 thing you get free shipping now, when you tighten these screws up, don't don't go really tight. Um, just twist them in until they stop on their own. And then just add just a little bit of an extra turn to them. It's all you need. You don't want to go too tight with them because, yeah, it's, you're going to strip threads or something. Last one here. That's not lining up. Maybe 
We should actually loosen this up a little bit. See if maybe it's just needs to be shifted a hair. These long ones I'm just gonna undo. Hmm. Why isn't that? That one doesn't want to go back in. I don't know why. This one just kind of started. There we go. That's going in there now. same length but I'll just double check anyway all right it looks like we just had to do a little adjustment Snug these all up in a second here. Okay. All right. That's it for that. Okay, now I'm gonna plug this sucker in. Get that finagled in there. Okay, that looks like it's in there. Yep, that's in there all the way. That's all good to go. And if you didn't keep an eye on my videos, I talked about this. This is where that rubber piece was that I removed. Works fantastic now. Gets rid of a lot of extra heat. And if you want to upgrade your drive, you can. It is that special Apple connector Dewey thing, so. But anyway, now before we seal this, we got to make sure that the battery is actually a good battery. We want the lid on anyhow. And we shall power this puppy up and see if it does power up. Oh, there we go. It's gonna go gong. <coughs> She is booting up. Let me just change the camera angle for you guys. I'm going to have to scoot around to this side.
Now, even though this is an SSD, it is running Monterey, eight gigs of RAM, 256 drive. I have no idea the health of the drive itself, but I haven't gotten to checking that part yet, but I'll probably be upgrading the drive in this anyhow. So let's check our battery monitor program here and see what we got for a battery. 100% health, 60% charged. So, wow, we got a bonus there. My eyes deceiving me? This is only supposed to be a 7200 milliamp. Ooh, baby, 8130 milliamps. Sweet. So we got a bonus battery. That's nice. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to go put this thing on charge and put the rest of it back together. And uh, we shall come back to finish the video uh, for you guys shortly. It will be instant for you, but it's going to be a, at least two hours for me because I'm going to have to charge this up. All right. That's it. Um, stay tuned. Instantaneous for you. All right, guys, she's all charged up. Took a couple hours, but all good to go. All right, so let's see what we've got here. 100% fully charged, 8,130 milliamps. Battery capacity, 8,130 milliamps, both at 100%. And we're on our first official cycle. That's pretty good. For, you know, less than 60 bucks Canadian to the door. Brand spanking new battery. That's uh, really good. Now, of course, time is going to tell. and uh, But for now, I'm going to tend to agree with, uh, you know, everybody else on uh, this particular unit. Um, now, there's been 4,226 uh, people that bought this thing with an average star rating of four and a half. Um, yeah, even other people did re report higher capacity, um, 8,000 plus milliamps, um, you know, so we all, we all ordered this as 7,200, so that's a bonus. Um, I'm sure there's a few people that, um, <coughs> what do we got here? Super easy, batteries 100% compatible, um, of course I'm the same way, can't, can't comment on charge retention yet, but um, now it looks like we pretty much uh, all got a real good bonus on the milliamps. So uh, that's pretty good for the money. But like I said, time's going to tell how well the battery does. Going to have to do some thorough testing, of course. But for now, I'm going to agree with four and a half out of five. I mean, for one, that is the easiest battery that you can change in a MacBook. It is really too bad that Apple didn't keep with it because, man, that is, that's just so wonderful. No mess, no problems, no frustration, just in and out, no problem. Anyway, so um, I think we can conclude our video here. Uh, the link in the description box below will be for the Amazon.ca website. I'm sure you can find this on Amazon.com. It'll also tell you in the link every single MacBook uh, that this battery will work in. It's not just to this particular model year. Um, so take a look at what's on that list and see if you've got the same compatible MacBook. And uh, yeah, you're ready to go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Oh yes, and I did put the skin on for now. I'm going to try it out and see what it's like. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's different. We'll, we'll call it that. It is different. It does keep garbage out like liquid and particles and, you know, so maybe it's going to be okay. And it does cover every single key, which is nice too. We'll see how long I survive using that before I decide to rip it off. But, um, either way, that's it. See ya.